Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. A few years ago, I wanted to rebuild my golf swing, so I picked up Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book. Guess what? It changed my life. Today, I've got the game I've always dreamed of. I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company, and I even got to swing as Ben Hogan in a special on the Golf Channel. And in this video series, I'm gonna teach you the most important things I learned from Ben Hogan's Five Lessons. Mr. Hogan began his book talking about the grip, and that's a great place to start because your hands are the only thing that has contact with the golf club. So first, I'm gonna talk about our lead hand in the golf swing. Mr. Hogan makes a great demonstration in the book where he holds the golf club like so, with it held in the crook of his first finger. Now this is a pretty important position to feel when you hold the golf club and the reason why is because it places the golf club across the palm of the lead hand. I used to hold the club too much in my fingers but once I learned how to hold the club like this I realized it put the club in a much better position in my hand and it allowed me to arch the lead wrist much better. This puts the forearm and the club in more of one direct line as opposed to having the club in more of an L shape like this. So I highly recommend that you give this a try. Hold the golf club in the crook of this lead finger and feel the balance of the club across the lead palm. Now with your trail hand, Mr. Hogan really felt it between these two fingers. It's more of a finger grip as opposed to the palm grip of the left hand. So I call these my Bruce Lee fingers. Wah! Yeah, it's kind of like how he held the nunchucks, right? So if you can combine the club across the palm of the lead hand and then hold the club in more of the fingers of the trail hand, you're gonna be able to put your hands on the golf club in a secure way that's gonna help you hit the ball more consistently time after time. Now, one word of caution with the hands. Mr. Hogan warned that the trail hand, these two fingers, he called them the swing wreckers. So you wanna be focused more on these fingers and this pressure point in this hand. If your fingers are getting involved in the action of the release of the club head, you could be in deep, deep trouble. I've found myself jerking and squeezing with these two fingers too hard, and it can ruin an otherwise good golf swing. So be wary of the swing wreckers and focus more on the pressure point under this knuckle. So if you can remember to hold this golf club across the palm of the lead hand and keep the club securely held in the fingers of the trail hand and don't let the swing wreckers get involved, you're going to be able to swing the club more consistently time after time. So if you'd like to learn more about how I swing the golf club, go to MySwingEvolution.com and check out the My Swing Evolution golf system. And if you'd like to check out the best golf clubs in the world for the price, go to Ben Hogan Golf, and I've got a link in the description box below. Hit them long and hit them straight.